Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining us again on this side of the channel. I just wanted to let you guys know about something that I found on the internet that was sent to me by one of you guys. Hold on one second. Do you mind? Cat, shut up! So I just want to let you guys know that some in interesting information came through and it's kind of based around the old idea that Rockstar hides their future plans within games itself. And what I mean by that, if you look back at past Grand Theft Auto games and sort of look forward, you'll notice there's always some sort of hint within the rock, within the current game sort of hinting towards the next game to be released by Rockstar. And what I mean by that is Grand Theft Auto 3 kind of had hints towards Liberty City, and Grand Theft Auto 4, yes, Liberty City stories came out beforehand. But still then, Liberty City still had kind of hints here and there that it was going to be staying in Liberty City. And then comes along Grand Theft Auto 5 and... It comes along Grand Theft Auto 4. And then comes along this idea with Grand Theft Auto 4 had hints towards Liberty City, having hints in Liberty City, you know that, with Los Santos coming through. And you can actually see that there were hints around, like... I think there was a few postcards from Liberty City. Someone even straight up mentioned that they were going to be moving to Liberty City. If I'm not mistaken, Patrick, the one that you do the great heist, ends up mentioning it after the heist. And then you also see him in Grand Theft Auto V as an optional heister, if you guys know about that, which I'd be surprised if you didn't. So, you have that there. And kind of, I just wanted to show you the whole thing with it and let you guys see what you want. I do want to say that I personally have not actually found this location in it, so I cannot actually say yes or no if it's legit or not, or if it's fakes, because, I, like I said, I have not seen it personally myself. But from what I've seen of it, it seems somewhat legit. It's kind of snapomatic filter. They do zoom in on it. So it's either legit or it's something really, really carefully created to pose as a plausible explanation. Just my other problem with it is, in the moment you'll see it, and you'll see that it has the location of Liberty City, Los Santos, and then London and Paris. To us, it seems kind of random and off there. And for Rockstar to quote unquote deport the Rockstar main franchise of Grand Theft Auto outside of America seems almost unbelievable for me. They've always kind of stuck within America ideas in the past games. I do believe there was one which was Chinatown and probably some of the older ones before they really got a huge name for themselves. And it just seems hard to fully believe that they do this to the series. The only thing that I can see them doing is taking it and throwing it sort of in a Japan setting. Somewhere that's really known for racing and some sort of crime that's truly sprung up. And personally me, I just don't know if huge crime that goes on within London and uh, Paris. It's more racist. It doesn't seem really big for that. Then you also have to factor in the idea of how they would set the story up around and for London and Paris it doesn't seem doable or possible to set up a crime style game in those cities without some sort of backlash from the country itself. And then you just kind of have an international problem if you try posing this country as sort of a huge crime idea. So it just seems really hard to do. And also, for me, it, them using an actual known city, like London and Paris, seems really also hard for me. Yeah, you got Los Santos, which is supposed to be the West Coast. You got Liberty City, which is supposed to be kind of like a New York City. And Chinatown was, which yes, also had the name Chinatown, but if I'm not mistaken, the city that actually was used did not actually have an actual city in China at the time, so just another minute and then I want to show you guys what I mean. Just me personally from this video that you're about to see just does not seem actually real or more or less what Rockstar is going to hold to. I know they kind of have this hidden Easter egg throughout it, but what I do think it is kind of more of a way that Rockstar can try to hide what they are doing. Just for me personally, to have this here, that says Liberty City, Los Santos, London, Paris, just seems more or less... Some people are trying to throw off the trail, trying to make it that... Us to have this idea that, hey, they've done this in the past, this is what they're going to do again. I think it's more of them trying to say, try to trick us into thinking, hey, 
this is what we want you to think is going to be the idea, but actually, no, we're going to do a 180, and we're going to do something completely and utterly different from it. So, that's kind of my idea. I would love to hear what your ideas are down in the comments, so I'll leave a comment below, and I will try to reply to as many as possible. I've been getting a lot better at it, and I know that some of you guys do comment, and I do end up replying back, but... That's just kind of my idea on this whole idea of the next possible location being London and Paris. It just does not seem like it's going to happen. I don't think they're going to leave sort of the United States. They have so much areas. What I do see more or less happening is this idea of if they can't choose an actual location, I feel like they're going to try to create more or less a country styled around what America is like and then creating a huge country with tons of mini cities here and there and then a ton of countrysides and everything like coast to coast style sort of like how we have the east coast and west coast two different coasts and such a different style with it and everything so again i would love to hear what you guys think where you think the next grand theft auto game is going to be taking place the other one last point i do want to take a point on is red dead redemption 2 i know i've been doing a lot with that is predicted to come out before Grand Theft Auto 6. They want to try to do VR in it, which I also, again, have touched on how they probably aren't going to do VR. But you got Red Dead Redemption 2 predicting to come out before Grand Theft Auto 6. Because Red Dead Redemption 2 had rumors and leaks of them starting production before Grand Theft Auto 6. Grand Theft Auto 6 is predicted 2020 at the earliest. And Red Dead is kind of 2018 prediction from a lot of YouTubers I've seen. So, throwing that into this equation, it looks like if they do do the London-Paris sort of spiel, that would put Red Dead Redemption 2 in London and Grand Theft Auto 6 in Paris. And for them to take Red Dead Redemption out of the um, sort of Western style and throw them into Paris, even if they do try to do Paris at a Western style time, you still just won't have the same game you see railroads all over the place in the trailer and for that to happen i just don't see them doing that and then you add in that grand theft auto would be paris and i know they kind of have iconic sort of buildings but they never straight up say and for them to do paris they would have to literally throw in the eiffel tower and i just don't think they're gonna do that that is a huge iconic like national wonder and I just don't see it happening. Yes, Paris is a huge city they could use, but at the same time, it just does not seem like it's possible. So with that in mind, guys, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I shall see you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.